I was just wondering how many of you guys have uh, kids in schools right now, or do you guys have? Yeah. Uh, our kids are in college. Right now. Oh, okay. But I was wondering, well, do you do you guys um, did you send your kids to Kip Academy? Did you guys send your kids to charter schools? No, we did, we don't have charter schools where I live. Okay. Yeah. And you would. Depends on the quality. On the quality. I wish you were here for the evening panel. Eva Moskowitz, uh, founder of Harlem Success, has two of her children in two of her own schools. Um, but I, I would tell you the, the way people with means, you know, people who have the opportunity to choose schools is the way we choose where we live. So when my kids were in kindergarten, nursery, first grade, and I realized that we couldn't afford private schools in the city, we visited all the schools in the different suburbs, found the school we liked the best, and then bought a home in that area. And the fact is that we were able to choose a school by virtue of choosing the area we were gonna live, and that's really the right that everybody's fighting for. And you know what the chancellor talks about uh, is that in Harlem there's a revolution going on. You know, Eva and Kip and, um, Harlem Children's Zone and a, a lot of other schools that are all together creating choice now for low-income parents in a community that never had that choice before. And so that's really what every parent deserves in the country is to be able to choose their school. And that power of choice then puts the power in the hands of the parents, which then kind of forces all the schools to face up to the, the, the equality that, that should be demanded of everyone in the country. I raised my kids in Montclair, New Jersey. The youngest one just uh, graduated, so I have an empty nest now. But all three of them, uh, I would have sent them to our schools in Newark, North Star Academy, in a heartbeat if they could have gotten in off the wait list. But we take, we privilege taking kids from the community first, and we had a long, long waiting list. But the teachers in the school, the quality of the school was far superior to the suburban school where I sent my children. But if you had, you know, all the money in the world, would you, you know, send your kids to private school, or would you send your kids to public school? If I had all the money in the world, <laughs> I would send my kids to public schools, and I would send my kids to, if I could, send my kids to schools like the ones that we've created for our children. And what about you? Uh, I have a nine-month-old, but his largest <laughs> stuffed animal is from uh, our elementary school in New Haven, where I'm hoping that he goes. Um, and I think... I think one of the things that, for, I mean, a question I get asked is we have structured schools, right? And you saw some of the footage from the KIPP mm -hmm. and, you know, are, does every kid need that level of structure? Um, and I think the answer is probably every kid does not leave that, need that level of structure, but it's not, I don't think it is holding kids back, right? So mm -hmm. I think there's some kids who benefit from more structured environments or less structured environments. I don't know that that's correlated with income, by the way. Mm -hmm. I think they're just... Kids are uh, of different shapes and sizes, and but I, I, I mean, I hope that the test we are all using um, is: Are we creating schools every bit as good as the schools we would want for our own kids? Um, and that's certainly a test that we use internally. In fact, one of the biggest issues we have, one of the, some of the most difficult phone calls I get, are from staff members who want their kids into the schools where they teach or work, and there is no preference for for staff. Um, and you frequently are dealing with very competitive lotteries and. It's a real dilemma um, because you want to be able to send that message every step of the way that that these are these are schools that we think are great for all kids. And what about you, Mr. Tilson? Do you do you um, where do you send I your kids? Three daughters. Uh, they go to private school, and uh, I am one of the fortunate few who can opt out of the system and can afford to do so. And all I'm fighting for is, is to give every parent and every kid in America the same educational opportunities that I'm able to give my kids. Uh, other question right back there in the middle? 